In this question, we are given a three-dimensional object as shown in the figure, and there are five faces are insulated. So, out of six faces, five faces are insulated, and only the face PQRS is not insulated. So, in two-dimensional, in the front view, you can get this value as P, same as Q. This one is R S. The top surface, the right surface, and the bottom surface are all insulated. Therefore, the heat will transfer only on the left-hand side. because rest surface are insulated the corresponding environment is convective environment so we have convective environment here for this one we have given the h value equal to 10 watt per meter square per kelvin and the temperature of this side is t infinity equals to 30 degree celsius and it is given that the heat is generated inside this one at the rate of 100 watt per meter cube now the heat is convected to the surrounding fluid from this area actually this area is from the left hand side but both areas are same the right face and left face has same area so this area has a width equal to 2 meter and height equal to 2 meters so we are calling as this area which is actually on the left hand side is 2 by 2 that is 4 meter square so by law of conservation of energy we can say that q generation equal to q convection So Q generation can be replaced as Q triple dash into volume, which is a two by two by one, or we can say A S multiplied by L is one and same is equal to heat transfer for convection is A S that is two by two meter into H into T W minus T infinity. So it's a very straightforward problem. This is a purely case of one dimensional. You have to find out the temperature of this surface P Q R S that is wall temperature. So Q triple dash is hundred. Surface area will get cancelled on both side. L is equal to one meter. Surface area is only cancelled in the case of slab, not in the case of cylinder. We don't know T W. T infinity is equal to thirty. So we have T wall equals to forty degrees Celsius. This is a theoretical question on generation. We are given a steady state heat conduction along x axis from zero to L length. So we are given a slab here. of thickness equal to l so we have given two boundary condition one at x equal to 0 and one at x equal to l and they are maintained at 0 degree celsius and 100 degree celsius so this is 0 degree celsius and this one is 100 degree celsius and he says that the heat is generated uniformly throughout the wall now since the heat is generated uniformly throughout the wall we have a downward parabola our downward parabola will pass through 0 and 100 So the first is statement says that the direction of heat transfer will be from surface at 100 to the surface of 0 this is wrong statement because partially heat is transferred from max temperature to 100 degrees celsius and remaining heat generated is passed through to the other face because of balance of q generation equal to q convection from left side plus q convection from right side since the maximum temperature in between the plate the heat is transferred on both sides by convection so this is wrong statement Second statement says that the maximum temperature inside the wall must be greater than 100. Yes, that is true. Must be greater than 100. Now we'll check the statement C. The temperature distribution is linear within the wall. This is wrong because whenever we have generation, we have second order parabola, and naturally the solution will be A parabola, not a straight line. Straight line is possible without generation. And the last statement is the temperature distribution is symmetric about the mid plane. No, since two wall temperatures are different. the temperature distribution will not be symmetric about the mid plane this is only possible if we have both wall temperatures are same so that is why the choice d is also wrong choice so the only correct choice is b this one is another question based on the heat generation and this time we have given a cylindrical uranium fuel rod which is a solid of radius equal to 5 mm so diameter is equal to 10 mm and is generating the heat at the rate of 4 into 10 to the power 7 so we have given q triple dash equal to 4 into 10 to the power 7 and now since it's a rod so we have the parabola distribution downward parabola and both temperatures are same so we have tw and maximum temperature will occur at center this is t max and it is given that this is having a surrounding is a by a convective environment having heat transfer coefficient equal to 1000 and the temperature of this fluid is 25 degrees celsius and value of h equal to 1000 so this time we want to find out the surface temperature if you want to find out surface temperature you simply take law of conservation of energy and balance q generation by q convection 
So Q generation is Q triple dash which is 4 into 10 to the power 7 multiplied by volume which is equal to pi by 4 into d square which is 0 0.01 square into length L equal to convection is by surface area which is pi dl which is equal to pi into 0 0.01 into L into h h is given as 1000 and the wall temperature we don't know and surrounding is 25 so your L will cancel one of the pi will cancel one of the D will also get cancelled and you can very well calculate TW so the wall temperature will come in degree Celsius because we are used 25 degree Celsius so this answer will come 125 degree Celsius but answer is required in Kelvin so your answer is 398 choice C is correct again the same question appear in 2017 but this time he want to know the difference of temperature between uh, maximum temperature and the wall temperature so we will draw the same figure this time we have a rod of diameter equal to 10 mm q triple dash is given as 4 into 10 to the power 7 thermal conductivity is given this time 25 since it's a rod and heat is generated so we have a downward parabola distribution of a temperature this will be t max this value will be tw and your objective is to find out the difference between t max and tw surrounding temperature and the heat transfer equation is not given so this time we will directly go to the second order differential equation for circular cylindrical section is 1 by r ddr of r into dt by dr equal to minus q triple dash by k so first of all we will multiply r on right hand side so we have ddr of r into dt by dr equal to minus q triple dash into r by k now this time it is ready to integrate so integrating we get dt r into dt by dr equals to minus q triple dash r square by 2k plus constant c1 now we can find out this value of c1 because it is known that at r equal to 0 our temperature is maximum so we have dt by dr equal to 0 so if we put this condition of r equal to 0 dt by dr equal to 0 in this equation so we can find here that c1 will come equal to 0 first term is 0 and second term is also 0 so c1 will vanish so what is left is dt by dr equal to minus q triple dash into r by twice k now again we will integrate this so we will get t equals to minus q triple dash into r square upon 4k plus some constant c2 now at this point we can find out the wall temperature tw by putting r equal to capital r so at small r equal to capital r we have t equal to tw2 so we can find out from this c2 equals to tw plus q triple dash r square by 4k so this equation will put back for c2 so this c2 will be replaced by using this value so t will be as it is minus of q triple dash r square upon 4k plus q triple dash into capital r square upon 4k plus tw now we want to find out the maximum temperature so what we do we will put small r equal to 0 in that case this term will vanish we are left with t max equals to we get q triple dash r square by 4k plus tw we are only interested in the difference of t max minus tw so t max minus tw will be simply equals to q triple dash into capital r square upon 4k so only that much data is given to you so q triple dash is 4 into 10 to the power 7 r is 0 0.005 square of 8 divided by 4k that is 4 into 25 so if you solve this your answer is 10 degree celsius so 10 degree Celsius is same as 10 Kelvin also. So answer is 10 degree Celsius. And we'll take one more question. That is the last question. We are given a ready-made temperature distribution here, and we want to find out the maximum temperature in the plate. Now this is a downward parabola. Naturally, the it's a case of internal regeneration. To find out the location of maximum temperature, we'll take dt by dx, and we'll equate dt by dx equal to zero. So we have dt by dx equal to minus 125x plus 11.76. So you will get x equal to 11.76 
divided by 125. So that will be equal to 0 0.094 meters. Now simply put this value in the temperature distribution. So we will get T max equals to minus 62.5 into 0 0.094 square it 0 0.094 plus 11.76 into 0 0.094 plus 41.76. So this answer is 42.31. Choice A is correct choice.